Welcome back. Let's turn to sports. March Madness action continues today with 16 games in four cities across America. Big rebound, tipped out of bounds. Yada, yada, yada. Northwestern has its first ever NCAA tournament victory. Number one seed and defending champs Villanova defeated Mount St. Mary's 76-56 in Buffalo yesterday to start another title run. The Northwestern Wildcats picked up a thrilling win in their first ever tournament appearance. The Wildcats overtook Vanderbilt in the final seconds to secure a spot in the second round. Another 16 games will be played today in four more cities and fans will be watching nervously with brackets in hand. The American Gaming Association estimates that 70 million brackets are filled out each year with over $9 billion bet on the tournament. The Maple Leafs continue their road trip in the Sunshine State. The team had an important date against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Maple Leafs head coach Mike Babcock doing his part in trying to rally the team. Ten minutes into the game, the rallying seems to help. The veteran, Braden Coburn. Vasilevsky scores! Roman Polak took the shot. The Leafs were all over this, all over Tampa in this one. A good cycle down low from Kadri leads to a point shot from Riley, which sneaks its way in. Moments later, Martin puts the game out of reach, scoring his fifth of the season. Tampa outshot the Leafs 12 to two in the third, but Anderson kept his shot out intact. Leafs skate out of Tampa with a 5-0 win. The Toronto Raptors suffered one of their worst losses of the season last night against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Russell Westbrook, Westbrook rather, controlled the game from start to finish. That included a dominant second quarter stretch where he either scored or assisted on 18 straight points. The game marked his 34th triple-double of the season and it leaves him just seven shy of Oscar Robertson's record 41 triple-doubles for a season. Victor Oladipo also chipped in with 23 points. That's a look at sports. Time now for your three-day forecast. Elliot Williams has the details. Thanks, Reagan. It will be the warmest day we've had in a while. This might be due to the spring equinox on Monday. Finally. But it is tolerable outside for the most part. Here's how the next three days look. Today we have a high of 6 and it's mainly sunny, but tonight will drop to minus 1 with the chance of flurries. Tomorrow's high is 3 with periods of snow, dropping to 0 with the chance of flurries in the evening. Sunday will be sunny with a high of 7, but a low of minus 1 in the evening with cloudy periods. Don't let the weather get you down tonight. Drink some green beer and stay warm with your friends. Now back to Reagan in the newsroom. Thanks, Elliot. That's all for today, but before we go, we leave you with this. A baby hippo has some fun in the water under the sun. The unnamed hippo is the first born in seven years. Watch as she slips and slides into the water. The female calf was born on February 21st. This specific type of hippo, the pygmy, are classified as endangered with fewer than 3,000 left in the wild. The zoo will soon hold a competition to help decide a name for the baby hippo. How precious. That's all for today. I'm Reagan McSween. Remember, you can head to humbernews.ca anytime for all the day's news and much more. And of course, you can also follow us on Twitter. Humber News is written and produced by students in the journalism program. Our technical crew are students from the broadcast, television, and videography program. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time.